mine. Sorry, pal. You're not my type. You have got to be kidding me. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be covering the Platinum Trophy and 100% for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Remastered. Just quickly, I would like to thank all of you for the support on my latest videos. Uh, I didn't expect them to blow up so quickly, and I have now officially hit 100 subscribers. When I released that first Uncharted video, I only had 32 subs, which is just crazy when I think about. I'm so grateful for everyone who has subscribed, it truly does mean the world to me, so thank you again for the support. And don't forget, if you haven't already, I would be honoured if you hit that like and subscribe button. Anyway, back to Uncharted 2. Uh, so this game is a direct sequel to the first one as it follows Nathan Drake on yet another adventure. This time, it is set two years after the events of the first game, following Nathan Drake, new character Chloe Frazier, and returning character Elena Fisher as they search for the Chintamani Stone and Shambhala, while battling a militia led by war criminal Zoran Lazarevich. Gameplay is pretty much the same as the first one, but they added some areas where stealth is now somewhat possible. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. And slightly tweak the combat system to be able to parry enemy attacks. Also, with traversal, you can now swing on beams and ropes to get across, across certain areas but pretty much more of the same as the first game, but better. I don't know what it is, but this game is just infinitely times better than the first game. In terms of the Platinum, there are 46 in the base game, consisting of again similar trophies to the first game, such as difficulty based trophies, combat trophies, and some speedrun trophies. PSM Profiles puts it at a 5 out of 10 difficulty, takes only one playthrough, and takes about 15 hours to complete. With the remastered version, they added the extended collection DLC pack, like the first game, and this includes 8 new trophies to get. PSN Profile puts it at a 9 out of 10 difficulty, takes 2 playthroughs and about 15 hours to complete. So in total, that means it's going to take about 3 playthroughs and 30 hours to finish. And also, that means there is a total of 53 trophies up for grabs to get the 100%. So without further ado, let's get trophy hunting! Okay, so step one, we are going to focus on finishing the game on crushing difficulty whilst finding all the treasures, just like the first game. Alright, so the first trophy we're going to get is First Treasure. Find one treasure. So this is the first treasure you can find in the game just after getting off the train. Okay, the second trophy I got. New paparazzi in town. Explore photo mode. Uh, so this is a miscellaneous trophy. I accidentally did it. I just clicked down on the d-pad and it brought up the photo mode and I was like, ah, oh, I did it. Pretty easy. Okay, so trophy three, bare knuckle brawler. Defeat 20 enemies with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, this one was actually pretty easy because uh, there's, there's a lot more stealth in this game, so you got some melee kills pretty easy to start off with. Trophy 4, Headshot Expert, kill 5 enemies in a row with headshots. Uh, this one again, pretty easy, you're going to be aiming for the head, especially on crushing, if you want to defeat enemies quickly. So yeah, just 5 in a row. Trophy 5, Novice Fortune Hunter, find 20 treasures. So as you can see, I had to shoot that treasure down. So yeah, it's a lot harder to find the treasures in this game compared to the first one. They hid them really well. On to Trophy 6. 
20 headshots, oh kill 20 oh enemies with headshots. So again, similar to the five in a row, you're going to be aiming for the head a lot, especially on crushing, so you should rack up those headshot kills pretty quickly. On to trophy number seven, Relic Finder, find the strange relic. Uh, so this is similar to the first game, there's also a strange relic in the first one. And shout out to user XK9IZ1ED2X for letting me know that it was a reference to Jack and Daxter, another Naughty Dog game. But yeah, they have the exact same relic in this game too. On to trophy 8. 30 kills Mark NDI. Kill 30 enemies with the Mark NDI grenade. Hi. Okay. Here we go again, just like the first game, there are trophies related to a certain amount of kills with a certain type of gun. On to number 9, Bare Knuckle Slugger, defeat 50 enemies with hand-to-hand -hand combat. So like I said before, uh, melee kills are pretty easy in this game as there's lots of stealth opportunities to rack them up. Trophy 10, 30 kills with the Wes 44. Uh, so this is like a revolver in the game, it's actually probably one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, the only bad thing is it has limited ammo, but it nearly one-taps every enemy in the game, so very clutch for crushing and brutal difficulty. Trophy 11, 100 headshots, kill 100 enemies with headshots, so just like the other headshot ones, you will be aiming for the head most of the time, so you will rack them up as you play the game. On to Trophy 12. Intermediate Fortune Hunter, find 40 treasures. So we have 40 out of 101 treasures found. Um, I did use a guide just like the first game, just to make it a bit easier on myself. The 13th trophy, Hangman, kill 20 enemies with gunfire while hanging. So unlike the first game, you'll probably get this one playing through the story, as, as you can see I'm in a spot where you actually have to kill all these enemies while hanging, so they provide lots of opportunities in this game to get that trophy. So trophy 14, 50 kills with a 92FS 9mm, uh, this is a sidearm pistol in the game. Uh, pistols are pretty good because you can rapid fire them and if you're accurate with the headshots they do kill enemies pretty quickly. Okay, trophy 15, 50 kills with the foul. So this is a new weapon they added into Uncharted 2 and it's like a burst assault rifle and it's really good because it's accurate with headshots and as you can see you can scope in too. Trophy 16, Master Ninja, kill 50 enemies by melee attacking from behind. Ooh, so in the first game, this was really annoying because you had to keep grinding the same spot over and over again to get it, as there wasn't much stealth in that game, but this game, because there's lots of stealth, it's pretty easy. Okay, so Trophy 17, Proficient Fortune Hunter, so we've found 60 treasures now, so we're over halfway now, um, 60 out of the 100 treasures. Okay, so the 18th trophy, 20 kills with the pistol. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. <laughs> um, so this is pretty cool, it's like a sidearm shotgun. So it was pretty effective, almost as powerful as the shotgun in this game. Speaking of the shotgun, next trophy, 30 kills with the Moss 12. So this is the main shotgun in the game. Uh, it's pretty good with taking out enemies up close, most of the time it one-shots them. So pretty effective, but definitely not long range. On to trophy 20, 50 kills with a micro 9mm. Now I'm gonna, not going to lie, this is probably my least favourite gun in the game. The like It's like a little Uzi. It just didn't really feel that accurate to me and was only really useful in close range, but the shotgun was just better. Uh, 50 kills with the M4 is the next trophy up. Uh, so this is probably definitely the best assault rifle in the game. I found it more stronger than the AK-47 and it's pretty accurate. And yeah, definitely one of the best guns in the game. Okay, Trophy 22, 50 kills with the a SAS-12. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I didn't even realise there was a second shotgun in this game other than the MOS-12. They both got 12 in the name. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. I can't even remember the difference. Are you stupid or something? Next trophy up, 50 kills with the Dragon Sniper. So this is definitely one of the best guns in the game. Enemy spotted. Uh, one taps most enemies. And this game you can actually use it not scoped in, so it's pretty accurate in terms of that. And yeah, good good gun. A great success! Trophy 24, 30 kills with the Desert 5. So this gun is similar to the, the Wes, but it's a Deagle, but still just as powerful. One taps most enemies, just has limited ammo, but definitely clutch in crushing and brutal. 
Trophy 25, Expert Fortune Hunter, find 80 treasures. Uh, this was the hardest treasure in the game to get, as I was getting sniped at at the same time. I probably should have taken him out first though, looking back at it. But yeah, I got killed, luckily, but it took me a few attempts to get the treasure. Okay, trophy 26, 250 headshots, defeat 250 enemies with headshots. So that is the final headshot trophy that we have to get. So you just have to get 250, you should easily get that um, before you get the platinum. Next trophy, 30 kills with the RPG-7. Uh, so obviously this is one of the best weapons in the game, it's an explosive weapon, so it uh, kills most enemies in one shot. Uh, the only bad thing, limited ammo, but you should get this um, before you platinum the game. I don't know what it was, but these new supernatural enemies in this game compared to Uncharted 1, they are com they are crazy. Like, look at that. I just got crossbow twice and I'm dead on crushing difficulty. These guys were so bad. Compared to the first game where it's just like these zombie creatures that run after you, these guys pack a punch and they take so many bullets. It's like all the 120 bullets from my AK-47 and what it takes to kill like just one of these dudes. These dudes were insane. Here's a little death montage from the final combat encounter before the boss fight. That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo anyway, after right. finally getting past that mess, we're on to chat trophy 28, Master Fortune Hunter, find 100 treasures. So this is finding all the treasures in the game, minus, well, still got one more because of the strange relic, but yeah, 100 treasures down, one more to go. So that means trophy 29, Master Thief Collection. Find all treasures in the strange relic. So now we have officially found all the treasures 101 of 100. Use a guide, it makes it very easy. Uh, so then all I had to do was take down Zoran Lazarevich in the final boss fight of the game. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually found this not too bad. I got it on my second try. I've heard that other people have actually struggled a lot with this on crushing, but I managed to get it second try. Really, the trick is you just gotta run in a circle around this little area. Why are you running? Why are you running? And just shoot when he gets near those blue things, and it's fairly simple. And don't die like that. After defeating him, now all I had to do was make this final parkour across the crumbling bridge as the city is destroying in the background, make sure I don't stuff up any jumps, and make it all the way to the end. Nathan Drake, come on, you can do this, we're almost there, we've almost got crushing. Let's go! Oh, oh. Nice. Anyway, after respawning and Nathan being resurrected from the dead, I was able to make that jump that time and complete the game on crushing difficulty, earning us Chartered Crushing, which then obviously stacked with Chartered Hard, Chartered Normal, and Chartered Easy, four trophies in one. And that's it for the first step. Okay, with step one done, we are now on to step two, where we're going to try and speed run the game in under three hours 30 as Donut Drake, and try and get the chapter, the three chapter speed runs as well. Okay, so if you saw my first video, you would know we're back here today with Donut Drake. He, he's looking a bit, uh, a bit rounder this time. I think he's been eating a bit too much donuts. Even the other characters in the game are calling him out for it. Oh, gotcha. You put on weight, mate. Yeah. Oh, shit, that was close. All right, no more donuts for you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Anyway, after that roasting, we unlocked Trophy 34, Survivor. Kill 75 enemies in a row without dying. 
So, I mean, if you're able to do this on crushing, props to you, but <laughs> I had got this on the speed run on easy difficulty. And here is some absolute classy dialogue from Nathan Drake. Boy, it's a shame you have to sit on something that pretty. Stop it. Get some help. <coughs> anyway, now on to the train section. Uh, where there's this minigun guy. Thankfully, we don't actually have to take him out legit. There he goes. Uh -oh. He's calling in the chopper with no freaking remote. What the hell? You're a wizard, Harry. Anyway, after that magic, here is some more absolute class dialogue from Nathan Drake. Almost there. You got it? Huh? Right, quietly now. Come on. Nice view. And then... No, no, I was talking about the mountains. Really. Cha cha, real smooth! Anyway, on to Trophy 35, Bullet Train from Hell, beat Chapter 13, Locomotion in less than 7 minutes. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm back here now, it's actually because I failed the speedrun on the first attempt, so I had to restart it. And yeah, I was able to do Chapter 13 uh, the second time around. But the funny thing is, on my second speedrun attempt, I realized that the whole time I could have just been restarting checkpoint because when you do, it actually goes back to your uh, checkpoint, what your time was when you reached the checkpoint. So you're not even wasting time because it just goes back to where you were. So I could have been doing that the whole time and then I wouldn't have had to do it again. Same with the first game. Ah! Only, it's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? <laughs> anyway, um, just remember to do that if you're speedrunning the game. Restart checkpoint makes it a lot easier. Uh, anyway, I got trophy 36, running gunner. Killed 20 enemies by shooting from the hip without aiming. Uh, if you are going for the speedrun, you'll probably get this because you have to go quick. And the easiest way to do that is just charge enemies while shooting from the hip, running gun style. But like seriously, even this game on easy mode sometimes is just really, really dumb. Are you serious right now, bro? Anyway, on to Trophy 37, 50 kills with the M32 Hammer. Uh, so this is the grenade launcher in the game. I like the RPG, it's pretty good. It one, one shots most enemies. And it has like an arc to it, so I guess you can kind of aim it to get where you want it. Anyway, that means we're on to 1 of 8 for the extended collection. Nida for speeder. Achieve a complete speedrun time of less than 3.5 hours. So that is our first... Uh, trophy going towards the 100% and that is for doing the speedrun which leads us straight into the next trophy at the same time too fat too furious which is speedrunning doing a continuous speedrun as donut drake so there you have it the speedrun portion for the 100% is over but that does not mean we're done with the speedrun yet as you can see on the chapter 3 I got 6 minutes and 45 on the whilst doing the speedrun and you need 6 minutes 30 to get the uh, trophy for the platinum so I had to go back and do this one follow the hose you find the can you always follow the hose sin sin city was made <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, trophy 38, staying dry. Beat chapter 3, Borneo, in less than 6 minutes and 30 seconds. There you go. I was able to get 6 minutes and 10 seconds. 20 seconds to spare. I found these chapter speedruns a lot harder than the first game. And trophy 39, quick jaunt through a war zone. Beat chapter 5, urban warfare, in less than 7 minutes 30 seconds. I had to go back and do this one as well. But after completing that, that's all three chapter speedruns done. Okay, so that means step two has been done, speedrun's done, so now we are on to cleaning up the DLC trophies first. So that means three of eight for the extended is Supernatural Born Killers, defeat five guardians with a sniper rifle. Uh, so this one you actually have to beat the game first to unlock the ability to choose weapons in the rewards menu, and you have to choose a sniper rifle when you kill some of those supernatural enemies as there's no actual location in the game where you can pick up a sniper rifle and kill them, they don't spawn in, so you have to beat the game first and uh, give yourself a sniper rifle. 
Also, a lot of these trophies are the same as the first one, as it's all part of the re the Nathan Drake collection, the remastered collection. So, a lot of these extended collection trophy DLCs are the same across all three games. So that leads us right into number four of eight: cosplay. Kill an enemy while, enemy while playing as an alternate character costume other than Drake. So just like the first game, you have to. In the rewards menu, select a different skin. Uh, the first game I did uh, El Elena Fisher. This time I chose to do Chloe Frazier. Anyway, trophy five of eight. Take me to your leader. Compare statistics with friends. This one pretty simple. Go into the menu and compare stats with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, six six is uh, cheat hard to cheat harder. Activate a tweak. Um, so yeah, this one unfortunately does not come in clutch because I can't even use them on brutal. So damn you, t t t tweaks. Blah. Uh, seven and eight extended. Yolo among thieves. Beat the last chapter without dying on normal difficulty to higher. Um, so I was able to do this first try. This one. Just make sure you're always running away from Lazarevich and shooting the blue stuff when he gets near them, and you'll do it. Okay. So with that, we have done the cleanup DLC trophies, except for one more, which is the brutal. But we'll save that for last because it is goddamn brutal. But now we are going to move on to finishing up the rest of the cleanup trophies to get the platinum. Okay, so first cleanup trophy, Bare Knuckle Expert, defeat 10 enemies in a row with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, so this one I went to chapter 2, because it is fully stealth, that chapter, so you, if you take out as many enemies as you can, uh, you'll get the that one done. Okay, so trophy 41, Dynamite Master, kill 5 enemies with one explosion. So this one I went to chapter 12, and there's this area right at the start where 5 enemies spawn right there, and if you give yourself an RPG, you can kill them all and get that trophy done easy. Okay, so trophy 42, Grenade Hangman, kill 10 enemies with grenades while hanging. Uh, this one you could probably could do if you remember to do it throughout the game, but I just went to here, chapter 4, and just hung on the back of there and threw grenades at the enemies, because you spawn with lots of grenades there. Trophy 43, Steel Fist Master, kill 20 enemies with a single punch after weakening with gunfire. Uh, so this one, as it says, it's pretty annoying, you have to get them low enough so that when you punch them, they die straight away, and in chapter 4 here is a good spot to do it as well, because they're fairly spread out, makes it a bit easier, and yeah, you've just got to somehow, well it took me a while to figure it out, but you've got to get them low enough so then you can one punch them after shooting them with gunfire. Uh, so the reason why I got 20 is because I was going for 10 in a row, and as you can see, this dude got literally glitched in the wall, I could shoot him, but I couldn't punch him, which ruined my streak. I don't know how close I was, but this was very infuriating. I could look at how many tr I'm trying to hit him, and he just, he's hiding, man, he's bush camping. Speak of the Devil, chap Trophy 44, Steel Fist Expert, killed 10 enemies in a row with a single punch after weeping with gunfire. Uh, so I actually had to search it up, and the best option to do is actually hit fire. So you run and gun, and somehow that gets them low enough to finish them off. And then, as you can see, that was the final trophy to unlock the Platinum for this game. There you have it, the Platinum for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Remastered. Let's go! Okay, with Step 4 done, and getting the Platinum, we are now on to Step 5, where we have one more trophy to get for the 100%, which is beat the game on brutal difficulty. Now, this is not for the faint-hearted. This, like I said before earlier in the video, this is a 9 out of 10 difficulty, and it definitely is after playing it. It is ridiculous. It makes you go insane, like seriously. A uh, quick shout out to my friend Aesops, who got some uh, footage of me having a bit of a rage. Uh, he was playing Lego Batman 3 at the time, that's why it, it's a Lego game. And he's actually making a Platinum video on that, so if you're interested, go check out his channel. But thanks to him for getting this uh, footage of me having a bit of a rage at brutal difficulty on Uncharted. Oh my god. Bro, what is happening? Bro, Nathan, 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 what the, what just happened there? I don't even know what just happened there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I managed to do it somehow. Um, I'll let you know if I recommend it at the end. Um, <clears throat> probably not. But uh, yeah, time to get the brutal trophy. 
Also, the uh, the uh, glitch in the first game where you could unlock tweaks like one shot, one kill, and infinite ammo to make brutal difficult brutal difficulty easier in the first game uh, it doesn't work in this second game. Unfortunately, for some reason, they didn't patch the first game in the uh, Nathan Drake collection, but they patched the second one for some reason. I don't know why, but they just did. Also, shout out to Aesops again. He actually I let him do share play. Uh, to try and so he could try and help me out, um, but he didn't really know the controls, and here's him botting out a bit. Not gonna lie. Why is why is the goalkeeper doing? Why are you there? <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, he actually did help me out as I was able to like analyze, I guess, what was happening while he was playing, so I could come up with new strats whilst keeping my sanity while I wasn't playing. Right, anyway, okay. onto one of the first rage-inducing parts of the game, this area where shotgun dude spawns in, you pretty much get insta-killed. After getting past that bit, we are now onto getting chased by a helicopter. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure you can tell how this is gonna go. Not 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 very good. And then this next time, I didn't even get the chance to climb! Look at how dumb this is! Like, what? And again, the same thing! And one more time for good measure! After finally getting lucky and being able to climb up and make my way across to the roof, I was able to get to this checkpoint, where there were more enemies that spawned in, and I had to take out the helicopter too, and just, this is how it goes. And then of course, right after that, what did you expect? Another place where you instantly get killed after spawning. Then finally I got lucky and didn't die straight away. And here's another awesome place where you're behind cover and you still somehow get shot. Like, like what you got? What is this? I'm literally blind firing game. Like, how? At that time, I was literally behind cover. Finally, I managed to get out. Hello there. And then whoop, just comes around the corner, instant one taps me. Okay, so while playing Brutal, I figured out that you pretty much can't peek while you're behind cover or else you like instantly die because they have like the enemies literally have 100% accuracy and they don't miss and it's like one or two shots and you're dead. So I came up with this new strat where I, as you can see what I'm doing on the screen, you like click uh, L2 and R2 at the same time and like you kind of like pre-fire as you aim in and they can't hit you. If you're accurate enough, you can take at the enemies. This doesn't always work but in that situation it was effective. And of course, who doesn't love a good death where you're literally in a set chase scene where you can't fight back and all you can do is run and you literally don't stuff anything up and you still die. Now we're back at the area where I got the hangman trophy and I'm trying to shoot the barrel to blow him up and there's a freaking crate in the way. Wait, did he just shoot me through the roof? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, now this section absolutely sucked. I think this is this is in chapter 12 and you've just crashed a train car and you're in it and enemies come from all three sides. And you somehow have to take them all out. This was on brutal. This was just absolutely just stupid. Okay, so after that, we are now onto the train section, and this train section is just honestly, it's really, really fun to play. But on brutal, it was disgusting. It lasts like two chapters just on this train, and there are some parts that are so bad. But for some reason here, I actually got lucky for once, and it made me full skip an area and get a new checkpoint for some reason. Anyway, I was definitely not complaining. 
Anyway, on this next part, here's a funny clip of me trying to blow these dudes up with a grenade, and instead it goes underneath onto the train tracks, rolls all the way to where I am, blows up underneath the train, knocks me out of cover, and then I get one tapped. Okay, we're making our way through now, still on the train, but this next section, like these dudes, had literally the best aim I've ever seen from an AI in a video game. Like how do they- my head is the only thing appearing above the cover! Okay, this next part has got to be the worst part of the game though. Seriously, every time I spawn in, spawn kill straight away. And this happened over and over and over again. Then finally, after all that, whew, you just pretty much had to get lucky and just keep trying until you didn't die. I did die more after this, but that was how you get through it, by just getting lucky. This next area sucked as well. This is another area that took me so many attempts to do. I or probably over at least 50. It was just absolutely ridiculous. And here, here you go again. I'm getting killed while just blind fire. God damn. Followed by a spawn kill. Nice! I love Pakistan, I will sacrifice my life for Pakistan! Congratulations, you played yourself. And this is what I'm talking about when I say that that the peek and shoot strategy doesn't always work. Can you guess how many bullets it takes to defeat this enemy? Five of those were shotgun bullets, by the way. And if you guess that I die, but Elena finishes them off as soon as I die, well congratulations, because here's your donut! After all that pain, I finally did it. This monastery part, probably in the top three worst combat scenarios in this game. Seriously, this took me so long, it was making me just, oh, it was so bad. I'm a fidget spinner. <laughs> Surprise, mother- Here I am being very, very sneaky. Very sneaky so they don't see me and I get big brain angles on them. Early girl. There you go. Statue of your mom. This area I was absolutely dreading and it was really hard, but once I got to these supernatural dudes, I just managed to defeat both of them straight away. It was awesome. All enemies have been defeated. There's just one left. I'm out of bullets. I gotta find something to do. How do I take him down? Down here. Oh, oh no, almost dead. Oh, grenade bullet. Let's go finish him off. Let's We're go. Out. No. You had one job. Just the one. Hold up. Wait a minute. That was diabolical. And here's some amazing live reaction from me thinking I've beaten this area after heaps of attempts. But, um, no, not quite. Dude, 
up top. Sure. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? The amount of times the AI did this little peek around the corner technique was just so infuriating, it got me every single time! It was so impossible to predict! And they had 100% accuracy! One eternity later. The moment you've all been waiting for. I defeat Lazarevich, I did it on my second attempt just like crushing, he wasn't too bad on Brutal, but I finally did it. Skip the cutscene. That's this is it. All I gotta do is just finish this bridge scene and that's it. I've completed brutal difficulty on Uncharted 2. Never again. And with that, by far the hardest trophy I've ever had to complete. Only 5.72% of people have done it. Beating Uncharted 2 on brutal difficulty. Thank God it's over. This was my live reaction to finally beating Brutal Difficulty. It's done. It's done. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. 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 There you have it, the Platinum N100% done for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Remastered. In terms of just playing the game, I probably, I reckon I would give it a 10 out of 10. Lots of people say it is one of the best games of all time and it's lots of people's favourite games and I can see why people say that. It truly is a very fun, action-packed game, 10 times better than the original, even though they only tweak minor things, but the story's better, gameplay is better. Everything is just better in this game. It's such a fun, awesome game. I'm so glad I could play it. Definitely play it for yourself. And of course, you can't get over the amazing Uncharted set pieces too. Uh, what's going on? Uh, 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 that's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Uh, In terms of the Platinum, I think I would give it a 8 out of 10 this time. I don't know, they didn't really... The trophies are pretty much the same as the first game, so you'd think it would be a 6 out of 10 like the first game, but I think I'd give it an 8 because they really did make some of the trophies a lot easier to get. Um, for example, the hanging... The Hangman Trophy, where you have to defeat enemies while hanging. There's actually set pieces where you can get that done. Also, the melee trophies are a lot easier, and same with the stealth ones, because again, they actually added in stealth encounters and melee encounters where it actually gives you the opportunity to do those things, and you just get them done whilst playing the game instead of having to go back and grind a certain area out to get the, the kills. And also, I think with the gameplay just being a lot better, and like I said, just playing the game at 10 out of 10, it's just better, which makes the Platinum experience better, I find, as well. Oh boy, now for the 100% recommendation. This is probably going to be my lowest rating ever on this channel. I'd probably have to give it, I reckon, a 2 out of 10. Like, seriously, Brutal Difficulty is just... That's what holds it back. All the other 100% trophies, easy, just like the first game, get them done. But just the one trophy beating the game on Brutal Difficulty, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to play through it. It is just makes you lose your mind. But if you think you're up for the challenge, give it a go. I was able to do it, and I'm not the best at games, so if you just keep practicing and uh, don't let it get to your head... 
you may be able to do it but just be warned it does make you go a little bit cuckoo in the head <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this video took a while to get out. Um, brutal difficulty did take me a while to complete because it was so difficult. And then this video has actually taken me a while to edit as well. Uh, it's probably going to be my longest video I've ever made. So if you guys are still watching to the end, you guys are the real ones. Um, make sure you've hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception Remastered. I'll see you all then. Put it in four if you can. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh what? <laughs> <coughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I hate this game with a passion. Only. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Bro, bro, Nathan, Nathan, stop being a dick. Nathan.